Do you ever feel overwhelmed by everything that's going on in your life? Do you know that there is an enemy who wants to keep you enslaved to your medical condition, to your despair, to your financial problems, to your loneliness, to your grief, to your sadness? He wants you to stay focused on your problems so that you do not see God's promises. Hi, I'm Carol Graham with Praying for Miracles with Carol. I'm going to show you a couple things from the Old Testament today that is going to help you to realize that God even hears our groanings and our mutterings on those days when we are overwhelmed with problems, with sadness, with grief. The first verse that we're going to look at is in Exodus 2, 23 to 24, and it says, Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage, and they cried out, and their cry came up to God because of the bondage. So God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is what he did for the children of Israel when they were in that place of being totally and completely distraught. But let's take it one step further. Exodus 6, 6 to 9 says this. When Moses told the Israelites that God would rescue them from their bondage, the Bible tells us they refused to listen. They didn't believe God because they had become too discouraged for all the time that they had spent in slavery. Maybe that's where you're at. Maybe you know someone who is there. But even then, even when they didn't listen, God did not abandon them. He knew the bondage that they had been under. He understood his children. He knew what great suffering they had gone through. They were so oppressed that all they could do was groan. And God heard their groans. God heard their cries. There was nothing left for them, but God did not leave them, not for one second. You do not need to craft impressive, flowery prayers in order for God to hear you. God hears what is in your heart. And there have been times in my life, and if you have read my memoir, Battered Hope, which is 12 chapters written in a story format of 12 horrendous traumas, and there were times when I couldn't even speak because of the pressure that was on me. I could just cry and cry out to God, help. Help me. I didn't have anything left in myself. And God heard that cry. And each one of those things that I went through, I was victorious. God never left me. God hears your cry. And sometimes it's just that quiet cry or that groan, but it reaches the throne of God because you are his child. He loves you. It was just a groan that the children of Israel had, but God remembered the promise he gave to Israel. How much more 
now with Christ as your advocate, will he not hear your groans and your cries. So begin to expect your miracle, knowing that God hears your cry. Expect your deliverance from him. And when the Israelites understood that God cared enough to hear them, when they left and went into the promised land, there was not one sick or sickly among them. That is the God who cares for his children. Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Don't forget to take a look at my memoir, Battered Hope. And if you haven't already, go to my website, Praying miracles.com. There are tons of stories, tons of Bible helps, tons of testimonies, everything there that can encourage you today. Thank you.